What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're showcasing SDR Perfect Cell at 100% potential or as some people might like to call it, his perfect form. <laughs> Horrible joke, I know, but that aside, this guy is a little bit of an older, but still fantastic Dokkan Fest unit. And you guys are going to find out exactly why I say that in just a second. But before I do that, let's take a quick look at what this guy can do. So, here are his stats. Fairly high HP and attack stats, so he's going to be doing some good damage for us. And moving on to his leader skill, it's STR types, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%, which is very good. But no key on that leader skill, so unfortunately, he's not the most viable leader. His super attack is Solar Kamehameha, it has an immense damage multiplier, which is a big part of why he does so much damage, and he also raises his attack and defense by 30%. For his passive skill, he gets a attack plus 100% at the start of the turn. His hidden potential skills, we went with 20 critical and 6 additional, pretty standard for these kind of units, and for his links, he has Revival, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Kamehameha, Nightmare, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle, which are some very good links. And he's also available on three different categories. You can only see two here, Resurrected Warriors and Androids. But on JP, he's also part of the brand new, what's it called, Enhanced Transformation category led by the new Transform of Super Buu. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do on that category team as well. But since we're on Global right now, we're taking him on an Androids category team. These are the units. Let's jump right into it. We're doing the LR Gogeta event where of course he has some type advantage. So you're going to see some nice numbers from him. And then later on, we might jump into the LR Vegito event just to see what he can do without type advantage. And of course, you guys might have noticed that I'm actually taking a uh, Android 21 lead as opposed to a 17. And you know, for anyone that's been following me for you know, at least like since yesterday, <laughs> then you are aware that I didn't pull the physical 17 in my summons, which I'm okay with because I got the new 16, I got the new 21, which, you know, two units that I really, really wanted, but I didn't get the new lead. So we're going to have to go with 21 with a 17 friend leader, which is still okay. You know, um, the 17 gives 170%, but the 21 gives 150% to all stats, attack, HP, and defense. So we're only missing 20% attack overall. It does make a difference, but it's not going to be a huge difference. And if you guys are able to run him with double 17 leads, then you'll see even more damage than what you see here. So this is good. We actually got the the uh, perfect cell in the first rotation, which is pretty rare when I'm trying to do these showcases. And as far as links go, we want to get him to have fierce battle and big bad bosses if possible. So, actually 21 is a great linking partner for him then. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep it like this and I'm gonna give him some orbs here. And, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter here. We're just, we'll just give random orbs to other people because we're not really trying to showcase them here. But we will probably see Android 21 do a transformation at some point in this showcase too. So that's gonna be fun. And let's see how much he can tank this for. He can probably tank it for, I'm gonna say like, 25k, okay, no, before I even made a prediction, that was pretty good, 25k is not bad from a, a super from those guys, and he hit them for 1.1 mil, which is not bad at all, so that, that was a good showcase right there, right off the bat, awesome, we didn't have any supports on him yet, and of course, super, uh, big bad bosses isn't activated, because we need to be below 80% HP for that to activate, so when we come back next turn, hopefully we get a couple hits on us, lose a little bit of HP, and then we can get... Um, big bad bosses to go off as well. Okay, so ideally, actually, I want the two AGL androids together, but I'm going to put him at the back here because I actually want him to come into rotation with the 21 and perfect cell at some point. So we're going to keep it like this. And my Super 17 is actually rainbowed. So it's going to be a little bit like <laughs> a showcase of him as well, but you know, I'm not, that's not really the intention here. And I, you know, he's not my favorite 120 lead, honestly. They could have made him better, man. They could have designed him a little bit better. But you know what? That's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like Super 17 and, you know, try to change my mind about it. Yo, that super attack from the new 16 is amazing, man. He did like no damage there, but still amazing, amazing animation. I absolutely love it. Of course, it was taken from Fighters. Uh, where the the animations are just out of control, so I'm I'm very happy that they did that actually, um, and I'm really happy that I pulled him. And he's not going to be the hardest hitter. That's not really his role. If you guys pulled him, he is an amazing tank. So you know you want to put him in situations where he can tank a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, actually, let me think about this. 
So even though these guys share big bad bosses and fierce battle, they actually don't have any key links, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. But right now we're fine. We got the orbs. We got lucky here. But I might actually want to link them up with the uh, support 17 because at least they get key together, I think. Yeah, okay. Oh, another fun thing to note is that uh, Cell, it's perfect Cell, actually gets his super off at 11 key as well. Or maybe even before, maybe at 10 key? Okay, 1.2 mil, nice, nice damage right there. Uh, but I think at 11 key, he has an attack all super attack, so he actually can be somewhat useful in... Actually, I'm not really sure, because attack all doesn't mean they'll do enough damage to actually be useful in World Tournament, but it's possible. So what I'm going to do actually is try to get his 11 key off at some point and see how much damage that can do and go from there. Because if he can do some decent damage, then we might actually he might actually be a viable uh, source of damage for World Tournament if you guys are missing LR Broly or some of those you know other attack all or AoE units. So we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll try to find out for you guys in a second. If I don't kill this guy too fast, which which could happen, you know, this team is still pretty strong. And we should actually be seeing the 21 transformation coming up soon, maybe next rotation, because after turn 4 and above 50% HP, she'll have a 30% chance to transform. So we didn't get it off this turn. It's 30%, so you can't really expect it too often, but we should see it at some point in this video. Oh, okay, so 17 actually gives him a little bit more attack, so I'm going to put him here. And we'll get those SDR orbs in a second, and he should still still be good to go. Yeah, there we go. And I also brought some uh, nuking items. I brought a Takoyaki, and I brought a Dabura cookie. And I actually didn't know that the Takoyaki was the same thing as the Dabura cookie, except it uh, changed orbs to tech as opposed to physical. So that's going to be fun. We're going to use at least one of each and see what kind of nuking damage we can get off there. 1.8 mil from Perfect Cell, though. That, that. Yo! Nice damage, like I said, man. Like it, it's not the most mind-blowing damage, right? He's not gonna be hitting for three mil like some of the new Dokkan Fest units or you know anything above that. But he can consistently do between 1.5 to 2 mil, no problem with type advantage, um, and also of course with uh, crits and things like that. And of course additionals if you actually have uh, some you know orbs invested into his potential system. So overall. I'm not trying to sell him as like one of the best units in the game, but he is a very good unit. We have a lot of freaking <laughs> tech orbs here. Wow, okay. Well, you know what? Since since 17 or 6, 18, oh man, all these numbers, 18 put in all that work to change all these orbs. We're going to give her all those orbs. And could she... Actually, I am interested to see what she can do. Mine, mine has no dupes, by the way. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I need to get rid of that. I just like, I, I I just need to like rip it out of the wall or something, cause I don't even know why we have a landline at this point. Nobody uses it, and I literally the only people that call us from that line are telemarketers at this point. So why does it even exist? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, Perfect Cell does get two key from Android 20, uh, Android Super 17. Oh, if you guys have seen my other showcases, you know I do this all the damn time with these names. Um, in my last video, I was showcasing Kefla, and I kept calling Kefla, uh, what, what was it, Khalifla and Kale. I kept calling Kefla Khalifla or Kale, and it wasn't even intentional. So, in this video, yo, if I call 17, 18, if I call 18, 16, or if I call 16, 21, or 21, 11, I don't know, just all these random numbers, don't worry about it. It's just something I do. Um, it's not intentional, but it does happen, just fair warning. Oh, interesting tidbit, actually. Uh, I was saving this for some point in this video and just remembered it now. I was thinking about this whole time when I was when I was thinking of like doing the showcase and basically interesting story is that this man, um, Perfect Cell, STR Perfect Cell, might be the only character in this entire game that has a rhyming <laughs> title and character name. So what I mean by that is his title is Welcome to Hell and his name is Perfect Cell. So it's Welcome to Hell Perfect Cell. Rhymes he might be the only character in this entire game, the only unit in this entire game that has that going on. I don't really know if that's the truth, like it could it be other ones out there, but I haven't noticed any. So if you guys know about any other units in this game that have rhyming titles and names, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear about it if you just think like a fun little thing. But as far as I know, STR Perfect Cell, the only one. Mm, I don't know about 17, I don't know, because of course he has that force field, 
which is super annoying and Cell only does like key based attacks the Kamehameha so he won't be able to hit him in that stage and that will suck. What if we do... Um, you know what, Vegito Blue is as good of an event as any so let's jump right into it, here we go. And let's find a 17 friend real quick, that one will do. Alright, so a big part of the reason why I wanted to showcase STR Perfect Cell today a big reason is because I feel like there's just so much emphasis placed on the Tech Perfect Cell these days. And of course, yo, Tech Perfect Cell, by all means, is a better unit. I can't deny that. But SDR Perfect Cell is no slouch. He's still amazing. And I want to show people that he's still really, really good. And it's not just the Tech Perfect Cell that's good in this game. And um, you know what? One of these days, yo, you never know. SDR Perfect Cell might get an easy A as well. He might be on par or even better than the Tech Perfect Cell because honestly, the only reason the Tech Perfect Cell is better right now is because Tech Perfect Cell got his Extreme Z Awakening. So I can't wait for this man to get it as well. And we got him in the first rotation again. That's freaking amazing. Okay. Um, can we get his... Oh. No, I was, I was like, can we get his 11 key super off? But then he already was at 11 key, so that was never going to work out. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, what I've been doing with a lot of these showcases recently is kind of just showcasing these slightly older characters that are still amazing and still deserve to have, you know, their own separate showcases. And just, I just want to show people that, like, these guys are still really good. Ooh, double super. Got the double super. And it does look like this guy gets a super off at 10 key, which is convenient. So, you know, on certain teams where the links don't work out as well or you have a bad rotation, you can still get his super off in most cases, which I really love about characters like that. But we still haven't seen his 11 key yet, so I'm going to try to get that, you know, going as soon as possible. And yeah, but what I was saying was before was that basically, you know, I don't always showcase the, the new OP character or the new hotness, whatever it is, like the new Dokkan best character. But I like to showcase these other characters that are like, you know, a little older, maybe not as strong, but still very, very good and deserve to have the orbs invested into them. And, you know, in this day and age, we're getting so many freaking orbs from so many different sources, you know, Perunga, Super Shenron, all these celebrations, things like that. People should have plenty have plenty of orbs to invest in characters that deserve it like this so if you have perfect cell you haven't invested the orbs into him yet definitely consider it man i mean if you can run the teams for him of course if you don't have any teams for him then sure you know don't don't do it but for the time being yo if you do have those orbs then i definitely would consider it all right uh can we get three mm, oh, it's not gonna work it's not gonna work we need three orbs to get that 11 key off okay we're gonna do 12 key super again and we also have this yo Okay, ah, oh, man. Okay, missed opportunity, missed opportunity. I should have used, uh, like, a Debro cookie or something and just test that damage. And it would have been nice damage, too, because we got the type advantage here. But you know what? Missed opportunities. We'll come back next time and get it again. One point, Almost 1.3 mil. Critical? No, but 1.2 mil damage. Good, man. That's solid. Very, very solid. I mean, if you, sure, if you compare it to... Oh, we got the transformation. Got the transformation. Nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. Got a close up uh, fan service. <laughs> fan, fan service shot right there, can't deny that. And let's get her to do some attacks as well, because I'm sure you guys want to see that. If you guys haven't seen it yet, um, at this point, I think a lot of you probably already know what her attacks look like and what she does and all those things. But if not, hey, take a look right here. Uh, I always add to like, like to add a little bit more flavor to my showcases whenever possible. So this is the extra flavor we're adding with the Android 21. And she is very, very good. Like, I can't deny that. She is fantastic. I'm very happy that I pulled her. Would I have preferred pulling the 17 in that video? Sure. But she is a very, very nice consolation prize. Absolutely like awesome, awesome unit. Especially for a non Dokkan Fest unit, man. Especially for a unit that you can find on every single banner as an unfeatured unit. You'll just randomly pull her by accident when going for other Dokkan Fest units. I think that's awesome. And I think she's really, really good. She also has Fierce Battle. And just overall good links. Overall good links. Okay, um, three, no, mm, that's two key, that's two key, whoops, oh well, well, <laughs> we never tested his 10 key super yet, so let's do that, yeah, that was totally by accident, I'm sorry, next turn, you know what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna do a Dabura cookie, I'm gonna use a Dabura cookie, and we're gonna do a little nuke test with him, have a little fun with that, and then the turn after, if he's still alive, then we'll use, we'll try to get his 11 key super off. I'm gonna try my best, like I promise, I promise to show the 11 key super because I want to see how good he is for, 
for a world tournament. So let's make it happen. Let's make it happen, game. Yo, don't don't work against me, game. Of course, we're taking Perfect Cell on Android's team, but some other great teams for him as well, of course, are Extreme, um, SDR. He's also good on Resurrected Warriors and the new, the brand new uh, enhanced transformation category. So if you know if you're on JP and you got the new Super Boo, then test that out as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys know how good he is on that team. If he is like optimal or close to optimal, or you know just like does some good things on that team too. Because I just think this is a really really good unit, and I would love to see how he does in a bunch of different scenarios. So he just tanked that hit for 23 damage. Damn, dude, that's crazy. Okay, 2.3 million attack stat. Of course, Vegito Blue does have higher defense, so he's, he's not gonna be hit for as hard as some other, you know, bosses or enemies might be, but that's still not bad. We hit, we crit him for 1.5 mil. I'll take it, I'll take it, man. Oh, one last thing I wanna talk about. So the showcase is almost over. We're almost near the tail end here, but NBA season, man. NBA season is about to begin, guys. <laughs> if you guys are NBA fans, then you probably share my excitement. I can't wait to see some more basketball. I've been like hurting for it, man. I've been really, really hurting for it for like half a year at this point. And I always, always feel like when the NBA season isn't around, when it's not, you know, active, when it's the off season, I just feel like there's something missing in my life. You know what I mean? So I'm very excited for it to come back. I am a hometown like Raptors, Toronto Raptors fan. If you guys are unaware, I do live in Toronto, so it's only to be expected. But aside from that, you know, I, I, I just love basketball in general. I, I will watch any team. I, I will watch the Warriors, even though I'm not the huge, the, the biggest fan. I will watch, you know, the Spurs. I'll watch the Cavs. I'll, not, maybe not the Cavs now with all LeBron. But, you know, I'll watch the Lakers with LeBron, of course, and like all those teams. I'll just watch everything, man. I, I'm just a huge basketball fan. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys are basketball fans as well. It'd be cool to find out how many of you that watch me are also fans of of the game and uh, the game as in basketball of course not Dokkan I know you're Dokkan fans if you're watching this and we can get the 11 key super off we got the 11 key super off I promised I would do it and it's happened so we can see how much damage that is but let me know um, if you're a basketball fan and also what team you root for that'll be, that'll be a fun time so y'all just let me know and maybe we can have a little discussion about it maybe we can chirp each other back and forth if we're rivals okay one mil one mil attack stat and that's a really funny super. I love that. I, I love how he how he becomes the, the fat cell. <laughs> but, um, yo, that's good. That's good. Actually, way better than I expected. So it's, it was like mass damage multiplier or whatever. So I wasn't, I didn't really know what to expect as far as damage went. Because usually when it's attack, all the damage is drastically reduced, right? But, you know what? Cell can do just fine. If you guys don't have Broly, then I think... He might not be able to one-shot people on 30x, but at least do a decent chunk of damage. And then when it goes below 30x, you know, when you're going at like 20x, maybe 25x, I think Perfect Cell might actually be able to clear the enemy team in one go. So, okay, so Cell is great. <laughs> you know, single target damage, great. Um, you know, all attack, all damage is, seems to be really good as well. Just overall, a great, well-rounded unit. Absolutely deserving of orbs, I would say. And uh, this man is just perfect. <laughs> well, you know, uh, not not perfect per se, but he is a great unit in a lot of aspects. I don't regret putting any orbs into him. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this man after watching the showcase. And of course, answer the various other questions that I asked. I don't remember all of them. The last one I just remember is the thing about basketball. But try to answer the various questions that I asked in the video and we can have a fun discussion in the comments you guys know that i try to reply to as many comments as possible it's not possible to get to all of you but i try my best all right so that's gonna do it for today's showcase if you like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you'll like what you see or you've been around for a while and you might want to decide today is the day then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and also hit that notification bell while you're at it because YouTube doesn't always know that my subscribers want to see my videos for some reason, so just make sure you hit that notification bell and we'll be good to go. But that's it from me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.